Well, when it comes to advancement in technology, some of the biggest advances are happening in the smallest of places. Today, we continue our conversation from last week with futurist Gary Golden on how nanotechnology may in the not too distant future make power lines coming into our homes a thing of the past. What role does nanotechnology have in our energy future? So nanotechnology is arguably the most profound shift in the world as we know it. And what it does for energy is it creates low cost, high performance materials that are used in everything from energy production, energy storage, energy conversion. And then it also helps us to build uh, lightweight composites that we can use in vehicles that will reduce the amount of energy needed to propel the transportation fleet. So nanotechnology is a very broad uh, uh, shift in science and engineering that's likely to have an impact on everything uh, that uses energy in our world. Are we just at the, uh, the birth of the nano era? We're about 15 years into it. So the, the phase that started in 1990 was the era of characterization, where we actually said, what does this nanotechnology mean? And we went in and we studied nanotubes and nanoparticles to understand their properties. And the phase that we're entering now is, is known as functionalization. So we're actually making functional products around these nano materials. So the phase that we're transitioning from after 15 years is towards functional nanomaterials. So what are some near-term nanomaterials that we could see that will change our lives? So the place that most people expect nanomaterials to have a, an impact in the near term uh, is really around energy storage and energy conversion. So the use of nanomaterials to make batteries um, better performing for portable devices and also for uh, uh, electric vehicles and then also for fuel cells uh, which can also be used for portable devices and electric vehicles as well. So energy storage and energy conversion are the uh, opportunity spaces for nanomaterials. So could we see a day that we could power our homes by something I could hold in my hand or maybe at least put in a briefcase? Yeah, I would say that, that within the next 10 to 20 years, we will likely see small refrigerator-sized devices, energy appliances, uh, likely a fuel cell, though uh, it's difficult to say which technology will win, uh, that will be sold at the retail level. So imagine going into Home Depot or Lowe's or Best Buy and purchasing a GE branded fuel cell that converts natural gas into electricity at the same cost that you would pay for electric grid power today. That would completely change our world. It would transform everything. What it allows us to do is to build more resiliency into the grid in this world. Uh, but more importantly, it's a strategy for us to bring electricity to people around the world. So you take the three billion people that are gonna be born onto this planet in the next 30 years, and imagine them coming into the age of electricity, not through a large power plant and a central grid, but more distributed personal power systems. Kerry Golden, thank you for your insights. Thank you.